And we're off. Are we on the screen? Yep. Yeah, starting out fast. We do just stick with what we do just let's block this off oh they're a speedy merchant just stick with what we do yep let's just bring the knight out bit of castling Left this pawn. I know in evaluation it says take the pawn. There's always this element here and this here and stuff. Just take it. But then it's got two in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. Do nothing. Maybe come and attack the bishop. Take the pawn. It is a free pawn, but they get it back anyway. Uh, let's take the. Taken straight away, so we're trying to get rid of these center pawns as best possible so we can manage around the center. Let's just continue as is. I think we've had a pretty similar game like this recently. Interesting. But I don't think they maneuvered like this because they've left another pawn. And we can attack the bishop. So this is oh oh that's oh dear. So we've got three bishop here, but are we falling into any traps? Yes, I thought it looked a little bit different to the. Game. So I always come down with some sort of pin thing, but we can just defend here. No point in attacking. Yeah, let's just defend. We've sent them a bit crazy, but in this type of position here, obviously, this is very simple chess. And they're kind of making me look good. You know, I, I don't really like games like this where they make me look good. Uh, just go here. So he's probably going to end up trapping his queen if he's not careful. I've got some activities. Oh, dearie me. Like I said, the activities I have with this bishop or this knight. <laughs> Let's just capture the queen. It's still playing on. Still playing on. Our king is a little bit airy, so obviously we need to be castling, so that just makes sense. Uh, 
And this game's just basically based on what the opponent's actually given to us. Oh, do you know what? I was meant to change the title. I'm not used to this um, streamy thing. I don't think you can change it midstream, can you? Oh, it looks like you might be able to. Hope it doesn't mess anything up. Oh, it did it as well. And oh, lost my screen. So it's actually still playing on. So I'll, I'll, am I going to make a mistake? Bring the bishop out. No, no, no. I could make a mistake quite easily. Right here, no. Right here. Free pawn. Knight back. Free pawn. Do I trap my knight? Knight can always come back here, so that's all right. Can I improve my position? Rook. Nice spot here. Start pressuring the king rather than. Oh. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Right, well, I don't know what to say about that one. Um, okay. Well, I'm not really wanting to play the short games. I did the bullet session all day today almost, and that's half killed me. Don't look like there's anybody wanting to play long games. Um, okay. Not really wanting to do short games, really. 
Go with a five second increment. See what happens there. No takers? No. Oh, we got some blood. Or not. Doesn't look like they're going to start, does it? What's wrong with people nowadays? Come on! Oh, they're not starting, are they? Oh, okay. God, I'm going to have to drop it down, aren't I? Let's take the five seconds off. And we get somebody on a faster, quicker type thing. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm just going to take my time. I'm not rushing nothing. It's supposed to be the classical hour. Not this speedy rubbish. I mean, does nobody want to think anymore, or something? I mean, look how quick they're moving, it's like... <laughs> it's here with me. What's the rush? What really is the wrong castling? What is the rush? Do you know what I feel like opening up this bishop? I think my cat's got the sneezels. <laughs> what can we do? Anything? Bring the night out. Oh, just bring the night out. Let's come here, maybe. Just carry on with that. Excellent, try better move a little bit quicker. Well, not too fast just yet. I'm not really in pressure zone. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. They're really not going to get any awards from me for moving fast. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Again, this knight is going to get trapped. Or maybe he's going to come here and attack the bishop. Right up, bishop attacking. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece again. Like we say, it's probably coming here to attack the bishop. Queen's protecting. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece again. Bishop. Bishop looks a little bit trapped and hemmed in there. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm going for that. So we'll go. We can move fast too, you know, people. We can move fast when we need to. We've been practicing bullet today. We're not very good at bullet, but we can move fast. So I'm assuming he's still just going to take the bishop anyway. Because his bishop's trapped. Or is it going to be like a cornered cat and just come out scratching all over the place and sacrificing pieces left, right and centre? He does take anyway. So simply just capture. Gonna be scratching. Um, I'm just taking this. Don't need to rush. Let's have a look at finding some decent position. The bishop's still on the back. I really like my bishop being on the back. Let's shall we just bring it into the game a bit? There's speed on them, still moving fast. Looking. Because he can still move fast but find appropriate positions. Not saying the opponent's not. But I feel bad when I've seen, you know, that they know about chess and they know about the movements of it, but they're just moving so blindingly fast that they're missing the gold of everything. Could take that pawn. Well, the pawn can't take the bishop anyway, so I don't even need to do anything with it. Queen's actually on here, so we can't take the pawn, but we can leave it there. It's a nice position to be in, I think. But we need more pieces into the game. Being opposite the queen should be okay with the rooks. Players don't... Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Whoa. This bishop's on my rook. <laughs> oh, it's going crazy then. Luckily, this pawn can't take. So I'm going to bring the rook here opposite the queen. That was a close one. I was so focused on this not being able to take. I lost the thread there. King's getting activated. It's making space. So now the pawn can take. So we have to move the bishop out of the way. Which only makes sense really. And we're not going to bring it here in front of the rook. So the only space is bringing it here. White squares are looking quite lively for the queen if it can get in there. Rook looking to potentially come here, maybe start swarming the area. And I'm not too sure what um, the queen move is because the rook, like I said, can come and storm up. Just block there and then hopefully there's some potential for maybe the queen. I don't know, something like that. Trying to improve the position. But time is running down, we're on five minutes, so we might get creamed and I might get blindsided. Let me see what's um, doubling, maybe. can skip here because there's nothing there. Oh, do you know what's interesting? Obviously. He might be too late to the party. Oh no, he's going to be in time. He's going to be in time. Yeah. Double 
attacking, then his rook comes and defends. Queen comes there, but then his rook just drops in front of our rook. Ooh, oh, yeah, okay. Well, that might be an interesting picture, might it? So if we did go here, I've only got four minutes, you know. Um, if we did go here, and then his rook does come here, then we take. Does his king take? Maybe so. If the king takes, then we can't do what we we're going to do, which was take the pawn. Because then this pawn can take back. But then we can take here. Ooh, that looks nice, but I don't know if I'm going to get a cigar for that. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to give it a try. Am I missing something? The bishop doesn't get... So if he comes down with his rook like we're expecting, and if we take... And if the king takes... Oh no, I've messed that up. <laughs> I can't, hold on. Who comes down? Rook takes. King takes. Oh, the whole idea was about this taking here, but I don't think that works, does it? I don't think that works. No, it doesn't. I'll stick with the that plan going up to there, right? Okay, so they're just going to go real quick. So the kings move. So we had the idea, but I think this time we're going to push here because I think we need more weight. I thought I had something around here with the queen and the bishop, but. It was only if the king stayed there. But this should be alright now. Maybe. Three minutes left. Right, okay. So now we've got the king home alone. We can really give it some cow we I think. Because their pieces whoa, their pieces are on the other side of the um boom. Come on, let's hit him. And I don't think he's wanting to go there because oh no we can't because of that. Chomping at the bit to get that bishop attack going. Oh, hurt me. He's in the middle of the He's in the middle of the forest man. Let's grab. So now they're just going real quick. Two minutes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now they're going slow. There must be something with this. What can he do? 
Is he gonna move his king? Ah. <laughs> Just as we speak. Two minutes, two minutes, Queen. Check. Position, position, position. Come on, come on, come on. Two minutes, two minutes. Just trying to get away. On a dark square. That must be it. What's your No analysis. Okay, we'll do our do our own. Let's have a look and see. I don't think it was plain sailing. Let's have a look at it. I think the speed element kind of spoiled that one though. So we grabbed, brought the bishop through, and. A pawn move, or oh, basically preventing the bishop coming here type situation. But does it lose them a bit of tempo in terms of developing the pieces? It's nothing major. Bishop comes down. So we're not doing the best, best, best moves, but we've got rationale for each of those moves. That wanted to get the knight out, then maybe looking to attack the the bishop but having said that again looking at the opponent it looks like they're going looking rushing for castling but they probably maybe this center pawn probably needed pushing out maybe a little bit to give some space for the bishop by the side that might have been more proactive I'm not sure I, I don't know um, but computer does not like my night move at all it's just dropped quite a bit what's it saying e5 oh pushing onto the knight now it's a bit previous because it's like a single attack maybe get some pieces out before you think about doing that sort of stuff yeah okay so bring the knight out and then the castles doesn't like their castling hmm. so we brought the knight through attacking the bishop and then we could push on to the knight. We've got like two pieces developed, like they've got two pieces because we were basically chasing our tails, getting developed. And there's nothing worse than being jammed in, attacking the piece with the pawn without actually developing any pieces. So that's what I thought anyway. So then we could attack the knight. Um, I'm not sure if it went to the right place or not. Maybe it didn't have much options. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece again I've just recently had that done to me smaller piece attacking a higher piece just knocking my knight backwards and backwards and then we kind of got the bishop in a little bit of a trap situation and that's probably because of the lack of development of the opponent's pieces in being able to support so the grabbed grabbed so then obviously we're up a minor piece but that doesn't really mean much if my position's not too good so I'm not really happy with the position so I want to make sure that my king feels um, like it's got some company uh, gauge bars on our side but it doesn't look too meaty just because we've got a minor piece up that doesn't really mean a right lot 
unless you've got your pieces working together. He's got a knack and lovely x-ray through with this bishop onto the rook, that type of situation. But converting that into an attack, so that their attack we turned into an attack of our own. So they had to do something about that. And as we mentioned, this pawn can't really take because of the x-ray through with the queen onto the king. So we could afford to move our rook and good job we took our time because I didn't even see that this bishop <laughs> was actually hitting my rook. I was so focused on this pawn here. So the king moves down. So the king is home alone. It doesn't really have any other pieces around it. But we can't do anything at this moment in time apart from save our bishop. Queen comes down. Uh, again, not too sure what, you know... I don't know. I don't know what I would have done in that situation, but it just feels like it's moved away from his king rather than working towards his king to help him out. So then obviously there's this kind of tiny pressure potentially on this um, pawn here. And I mean, the queen could have come through here, maybe attacking this pawn because that's got no protection on. But it's a tempo thing for me. I'm thinking, oh, if we can pile up more pressure on a single piece, maybe they're going to make a mistake. So we bring the rook or queen across. Seems to make sense. And just grab the rook, take it off. The king is definitely home alone now. So that principle of the king being home alone does carry some weight. But we don't have any clear ways in at this moment. So pushing onto the pawn here, because we, we did think there was something here. It's just that because the king, if the king had stayed there, then we would have been able to use the combination of the bishop and the queen. But because the king's there, I had to change it a little bit. Just put a bit more pressure towards that king area. And then see how that played out. So the king is still home alone. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Winning that all important tempi. And then, obviously then, it really is home alone now. So using that strategy of attacking the king area, part of the answer process that we practice, what try and practice, really did, I think it's glitching. Yeah, it just glitched then. Uh, really did bring this game into the fold. Then after that, it's really just about maintaining that pressure with the team because um, not one single piece can do it by itself and there we have it so it's an interesting game and I'm not sure if I'm playing another one or not uh, I've done quite a lot of bullet today uh, but I really wanted to practice some long games this wasn't even a long game this was a was it a 10 minute game hmm let me see. Let me see. Yes, I might, my brain might be flagging now. I don't think I should play another one, really. But let's test myself. I'm flagging, but let's test myself. Casual, no effect on the rating. Just um, let's see how we go. Probably make a big, massive blob here now okay let's push through just develop the night so if my brain's tired maybe i need to focus on simple chess simple 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 let's push here Um, let's push on. Queen or the pawn? That's the question, isn't it? Hmm. But if I do the queen, he just comes and attacks with his knight. So let's go with the pawn. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. 
probably swings here now attacking or maybe it goes yeah it goes there because he don't want to block his um bishop in smaller piece attacking the higher piece yet again so probably suffering the wrath of getting attacked by pawns he's not got a two on one so let's attack the knight with the pawn obviously going here then unless of course he's sacrificing just to disturb do we take it off the board because then it gives them that doesn't it I'm taking it anyway just take it and castle king safety so it's even Stevens there's no and we it's got double pawns here but it's it's even Stevens at the moment put a little check on his king with the rook knight comes there yep and if we put the queen here but he's got the bishop protecting as well let's put the queen here I don't know what I'm thinking thinking going here but it's the knight really isn't attacking anything I was thinking if he takes with the bishop but he's not forced to take with the bishop but then if he doesn't then we can come here but then he just moves out of the way but then we do have like a um, attack on this one here so I'm going to bring the knight up but I think he'll just bring his rook across so that then it is supporting so we might have created a bit of a problem for ourselves I said I was playing simple chess but I might be complicating it for myself now I'm flagging Oh my word, the do take. Okay, let's go here. Rook comes and defends. Push on. Knight moves. Queen takes the pawn. Doesn't mean it's a good position, but. Oh no, no. Back rank checkmate, dude. <gasps> oh god, that woke me up. So he comes there. We need to be maybe getting the bishop here, supporting the rook at least. Oh dear. Ooh, he's oh, stopping off the attack of his rook. Um, we can still push, but if we do push, he still does this. Do we have time to develop the knight? Uh, oh, but we can take the knight, can't we? No, we can't. We take the knight, his rook comes here. And then if we move the queen, then he gets the back rank checkmate. Oh, he's not stupid, is he? Push onto the knight. Push onto the knight. Then if he does go there, the pawn can take. Um, I think I'm losing a tempi somehow. I'm going for it. I'm going to rule the day I didn't do this, aren't I? Yes, he's got me. He's got me. He's got me. Let's go here. It's too much work up top now. Look at these pieces. I need to get these out. Out. Where's he going? Bishop is here as well. And if I push up, his knight goes here. Shocking, can I not take that knight? I've fallen right. Oh, what's this? Nope, that doesn't do anything. I suppose he's only taking a pawn now, isn't he? Oh, savage times. What can I do? What can I, that's a nice shot. What can I do? <sighs> no attacks on his king. No, no, no. Rook up. Pawn up. Oh, I could do the pawn up, couldn't I? Messing about. Let's do that. Obvious move. Definitely flagging. <laughs> Cracky. 
Uh, Mine takes anyway. That means I'm being set up. This pawn's got no protection on it. Oh, he still gets that position. And gets my rook. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, my days. I was so asleep. <laughs> and my knight and stuff aren't even out. Oh, this is bad. Boom. So it takes. Okay. Resign myself to the fact it's gone. Don't cry over spilt milk. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. He's not actually gone for it. What happens if we take? And then we take. Uh, and it's even worse, isn't it? Just attack. I mean, kamikaze mode now. I mean, kamikaze mode. Look, he's created a lot of mayhem. I mean, obviously, this pawn is going. And where we are genuinely scrabbling for any type of position, pieces aren't even working together for me at all. So this is really not a good position. And we're position players like we know. Yes, 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 yes. It takes now. What can we do? So we're down a pawn. Rubbishy position. Nothing much going. Um... I think the rook needs to come in play. Oh, what can happen to that knight? Hold on. Let's attack the knight. He's going to find magic. Let's take this bishop. He takes our bishop. Yeah, damn. We're down. We're behind Tempe. Let's go here. Don't come there with the king. Let me have some play. Oh. Oh, are they flapping? I hope they're flapping. Four minutes, dear me. It's got poor, massive poor majority on this side. Oh no, he's blocking me in. <laughs> it's blocked me in. Oh, that's got to hurt. That ain't fair. Oh, he's blocked me in. I'm going to have to see if I can... Oh, stop it. His rope's coming in for me. His rook's coming in for me. Four minutes. Oh. Look at this poor majority. I can't. I can't beat this. One, two. I mean, we've got stuff here, but it looks loosely supported. I mean, look at this. I have to come back, and then his pawn attacks. <laughs> There's not much going. Ooh. Is this zero increment? I think it's zero increment in it. Yeah, it's um just bad to do, do. My rook really don't have any players here now. It's not gonna serve anything. So 
So all he has to do is come here, and if we take, then he takes. Then I suppose we take, and then he takes with a check on my king. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. I can't beat these. And I definitely can't beat that going there, but I suppose I can, like I say, get the pawn. But I think he's got a load of... He's going to be able to take quite a lot off. Uh, I can't beat them. I, if I take one off, then maybe that might be alright. Is he coming for it? Uh, oh, come on, come on. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. He's gone for the exchange, but his rookie's going to come and cause mayhem coming down the bottom. Let's go. This rook comes down. If I come there, looking to put a check on, get this pushed up. I don't know about, does it work? It's come down for the pawn on the back. We could take the pawn here. Or we could push the pawn up. Ooh, push the pawn up. Push again. Oh, I'll push again, and then we've got rook check on the king type thing. Oh, maybe. Rook check on the king. Get these rook off the board. Queen and my king can move. Don't move so fast. Yep, okay. Queen. If he comes here with a check, we move here. Yeah, that's alright. So he's going to have to probably take with his rook. Oh, Although I can still get this pawn, can I? Um, not today. Come on. Let's grab. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Thank you. Dear me, how did we come back from that? I mean, I don't think we were in good shape at all. Or is that just me thinking I wasn't? Let me have a look. Got no report analysis done again. I mean, I can do it, but I'm, I want to just do my own. Uh, okay, one, two. So we pushed on. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, yet again. And yet again. And then yet again. Uh, this is what I really wanted to see. I mean, look at that massive dip. I've dropped four points just from taking the knight. What are you supposed to do in them situations? It's right there for you. Said so D6. What's D6? D6? What's that about? No, I'm sorry. No. 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 No, <laughs> no. Um, I've got pieces to be developing. I've got pieces to take off the board. If I didn't take this knight, I'd probably rule the day I didn't take it. That knight would probably end up being the winning piece. So I don't think so. Sorry, Stockfish. Uh, they captured. Castled. So we'll put a check on. So it's only showing that we're winning because we're um we've probably doubled the pawns or something. One, two, three, four, four, seven. Yeah, so no, but it's it's even Stevens really. Doesn't like the queen attack. Knight B D two. <sighs> Developing the knight. Oh yeah, we were slow with these, weren't we? Oh, we were so slow with these. Shocking. Right, yeah, okay, so that would have brought the knight out, but it, 
sometimes I don't really like doing this night mode because it just blocks everything in a bit slow but then I suppose it could come here like this night wanted to interesting times okay so we were focused on getting this night off the board somehow and that oh shh, look at that oh my gosh oh my gosh that's no good that is no good well we did that with the intention of them taking so that then we could take and then put have more pressure on the night but then as we started developing through there we realized that we had a bit of an issue because we didn't have any other pieces really in the game so that's not too clever okay so we're back in the game in the Valbar and doesn't like their bishop move but does not like our pawn move I thought that was a nice move Queen takes it well I'm thinking if I take here then does this not rook not come if I take then does this rook not just come here like this rook takes d8 queen takes d8 what how does that work Queen takes, Queen takes, what's it say, Rook takes, oh my god I've got more pieces than him, <laughs> damn, oh man, I've got more pieces, I've got like, oh, I didn't see it that way, all I saw was the getting the background checkmate, I can't obviously because I can just move my, um, or in fact move the bishop here blocking oh damn 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 right i don't need to do any more now because that was the catalyst there that was the thing i should have just oh okay well that'll do for this session um not a very interesting session but i'm flagging so i'm feeling fairly half decent about that because we did do the bullet challenge today and we achieved our target so i'm really pleased at that good night for now